Hey folks, JSAT here. Welcome back to part two of the Today I Learn, covering how damage works in Vermintide 2. So far, we've learned that total damage is a multiplication of four distinct categories. Effective hero power is easy. We're in the middle of attack damage. So far of attack damage, we've covered how body shots, headshots, crits, and crit headshots work. We've got a couple things left to cover today. Strength, backstabs, and a couple ults, and boss damage reduction. What we've learned so far is that there's a base damage, right? That's this component here. And then there are other components that are then additive with it, that are additive with it. So we've covered how headshot crit and headshot crit works. Look at how you calculate the headshot multiplier. It is the headshot armor times curve times the finesse value. See this? Crit's basically the same, slightly more complicated, but mostly the same. Headshot crit, mostly the same. Now look at how attack works. Look, the strength component, the strength component is very similar. Very similar. So how does it work? We start by computing the base damage in exactly the same way we always do, attack and armor. Then we get the strength armor modifier. What is that? Well, versus monster, it's the same as it always is. It's just the armor modifier. Versus everything else, just use the infantry modifier. That is supposed to simulate that your attack you're doing is so strong, it doesn't care about their resistance. Okay. Then you get the boost modifier for the attack, which is like the finesse modifier, but it's for the strength component. That's basically how good is this attack if you're really vicious with it, right? If you've got a ton of muscle behind it for some reason. Then it's multiplied by curve, because curve kind of tells you how good this weapon is when it hits just right. But the input to that curve is not the same. The input depends on the armor type. So even though the strength armor component says everything it hits the same, right, armor don't care about your armor, it still cares about your armor a little bit. Here's an example. Let's talk about first target armor if you're body shotting, okay? We calculate attack in the same way, get armor in the same way, strength armor it's infantry, so just use infantry, which is just in one, okay? We have an input of 0 0.75 into the curve, which gives a really big 0 0.84 modifier out of the curve, barely reduced at all by the curve, and the boost for this attack is one. It's not uncommon to have a boost of one. So all in all, we get 14 damage, where an eight was base. So when you body shotted no crit, no headshot, nothing like that. It went from 8 to 14, a little bit less than doubling. So it's actually worth a little bit less, for example, than um, headshotting. Let's see how much it helps versus armor. Now, it helps the base component not at all, right? We get this nice strength armor of 1 because we still use the infantry modifier. We get a curve of 0 0.6, which inputs 0.77. And our boost is 1, so 6.25 damage. Okay, versus the zero you would get normally. Can I summarize this for you? Strengthing gives you the same amount of extra damage on every type of attack, headshotting, critting, whatever have you. The amount that it gives you versus non-monster is roughly the same, roughly the same. So you can think of it as like plus X damage, and the amount that it's adding is usually a bit less than your base damage. So all in all, if you're body shotting, it's usually like a 1.8 modifier all said and done. Something like that, roughly. Remember that the different types of armor have different inputs into curve. And the different attacks have different curves. So some types of attacks like strength considerably more than others considerably more than others. So if you want to know how much strength is worth to you, this is not calculable. Just go to the spreadsheet. Don't make assumptions. Turns out that strength is not nearly as good in some cases as you might think, and I'll go over that momentarily. I'm just going to do a little bit more detail on strength headshotting. Remember the headshot and the strength boost thingy are additive, right? They're additive. So we just compute base in the normal way, headshot in the normal way, boost in the normal way, and put them all together. Okay? So this is our headshot, just like we've seen in the last video. 
Here's the boost strength component, just like we did just previously. There it is. Put that all together. Get overall modifier, and we get as soon as that stupid thing gets out of the way, 23.25 damage. So you got about 8 for one, 8 for the other, 8 for base, 24, there's your additives, okay? No problem. I wanted to do one more. I think I accidentally duplicated the slide more than once, but okay, that's fine. Some general trends. Strength adds additively with crits and headshots. This means that as a proportion of your damage, strength is worth considerably less when you crit, headshot, and crit, headshot. So I'm thinking about shade here. If I have my guaranteed crits up, right, which is five seconds or four, four seconds, I think, of guaranteed crits, and I can headshot pretty decently during that portion. If you look at the actual numbers, Strength Potion only adds 15% damage at that time, right? Because it's not multiplicative at all. Whereas a Speed Potion is worth 50% attack speed. So your attack speed is actually worth a lot more in terms of total damage and strength if you have lots of crits and headshots or crit, shot, crit headshot modifiers. So don't make assumptions. Double check if Strength really is better for you. Where is Strength best? Strength is most impactful on weapons that have high infantry base damage or high monster base damage. So I'm thinking like beam staff. Okay, it's also very impactful when you're using low armor base damage attacks because then you get that armor component. So that's it, right? Okay. Backstabbing. Backstabbing is a shade only, so if you don't care, move on. But the bottom line with the backstab is it's yet another unique component to the additive portion of the formula. Basically take your base damage, have it, and then add it again. Okay? So it's an overall 50% damage modifier if you're backstabbing, but if you're critting, it's a lot less. Okay? Now for the bear. This only really matters for Dwarf, Ranger, Huntsman, and Shade. The reality is how this works is not hugely important. All the details aren't hugely important. What I need you to know is if you're both strengthening and ulting at the same time, the strength component stuff and the headshot crit component stuff become multiplicative. So for Huntsman and Shade in particular, Crit power and headshot power are somewhat multiplicative with your ultimate. Okay? Details are here. The details are here. So remember, armor, the boost armor component, the boost modifier, and the curve type is exactly the same as we've already discussed. But there's also an extra input into curve here for these four ults, which all share them. Take these two inputs if you're strengthening and ulting at the same time and get the total input to the curve. But remember, if your curve input is one or higher, the output is one. Okay? What do we see from these inputs? We see that the DR Huntsman infiltrate ults are quite good versus infantry and monster less good versus armor, berserker, and super armor compared to strength potions, okay? There's also one extra free multiplier, which is only a one for ranger, so ignore it. 1.5 for huntsman, four for shade, that just straight modifies this extra component, the, the boost strength component, okay? Except for his cap but for two, for lords and monsters, 1.5 for minotaur and bodvar. So, and many of the attacks have an override that reduce four to something else. So it looks like it's a four times for this component, but really ends up being a 1.5 or a two times in reality. So, hello. If the overall strength, right, if you do all of this stuff and the output is less than one, it's purely additive. You do all the stuff you'd expect to do and you're done. Okay? However, if you have Shade and Huntsman, and you're ulting plus Strength Potting and, or something, and this number gets quite big, this number gets quite big, the strength overall strength gets quite big, 
you actually multiply your headshot crit by the strength if you're headshotting slash critting. Okay? So let's talk about the bizarre case. And I will actually pull this up now. Did I ever pull this up? No. Stand by. I will show you how to use the spreadsheet at the same time. So I'll get this Reddit post. Reddit post is where Orange Chris keeps it up to date. Here's the Logos calculator. When you get the calculator, you go file, make a copy to download a local copy. Now you have it. If you want to see the underlying data, the hidden sheets are in here. That's where I got all the raw data for the different attacks. They're in here. If you want to see the code, you go to tools and you go to script editor and it'll pop open the code for you. And if you're comfortable with that, you can read away. But if you just want to use it the way it's intended, go to main. You can pick breakpoints or rounded damage. In this case, we care about damage. Let's care about shade. Let's take sword dagger. Let's set it to cataclysm. We'll leave off the crit talent for now. They're the um, stagger talent. I'll talk about that in a moment. Let's turn on Exquisite Huntress, the headshot damage, and say you get 10 stacks. Let's put a strength potion on. Let's say you're attacking with infiltrate. Okay. How much damage? How much damage is that infiltrate doing? Boss mode on. Oh boy. 784 damage. Can we make that any higher? Well, headshot power and crit power are multiplicative if you're headshot critting. By the way, this is body shot, headshot, crit, crit headshot. That's how to read that. Here's crit power. Let's make that 40%. How are we doing now? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Let's turn on shrapnel. And let's say that we have a Witch Hunter Captain. So we have, where is it? Am I crazy? Why don't I see it? Am I a crazy person? Ah, there it is. Damage taken. Change the name. That's fine. Because he didn't want to make it obvious that it wasn't multiple. That wasn't additive. Okay. So that's the Witch Hunter Captain ping. Fair. Let's see how much we're doing now. 1,459. That is a lot of damage. So, stacking, stacks, stacks, 20% multiplicative, 20% multiplicative. We get pretty big. Pretty big, okay? Okay. Still can do big damage if you stack things appropriately. Move back. Okay, now it's time to talk about something a little bit more general. Boss damage reduction. Boss damage is reduction is not as simple as you would think. You would think take the total damage and multiply it by something, and that's how much the bosses take. Nope. It reduces each component separately. So for example, the, arm, the base damage could be reduced by normal reduction, the headshot crit damage is reduced by headshot crit reduction, etc. Here are a couple different monsters and lords. They have different armor types. Now the base ones are almost all monster. Hail Scourge and Death Rider are also monster armor type. Bodvar and Skarik are super armor. Rastan is infantry. Nurgloth is berserker. And most weapons are not very good at doing berserker damage. That's one of the reasons he's a pain in the butt. Okay. For most monsters, right, mo your ordinary bosses, it's about a 50% damage reduction across the board. But backstabs reduced a little bit less to help shade a little bit. Okay. Here's one of the interesting ones. Skarik and Bodvar. Now, they're super armor, so it's hard to do damage against them. But the crit headshot damage is not reduced at all. So good crit headshot weapons are quite good here. Okay? Next, Hail Scourge and Death Rattler. They have big damage reduction, really big damage reduction against your crit headshot component and your strength component but only the ordinary amount of reduction versus base. So you want to bring weapons against these guys that have good base damage versus monster. Hence, this is why, for example, um, uh, Beam Staff is brought against Hail Scourge, because it's got good base damage. 
Rasnet, what's got good base damage versus infantry? Shotguns and uh, repeating pistol to a degree. Nurgloth, obnoxious, huge damage reduction, 75% or so versus the crit and the boost component, the strength component, but only 50% versus base. So in order to kill him, you want to bring weapons that have good base damage versus berserker. What's that? Shotguns, repeater, pistol, and the piercing shot on Hagstalker, or excuse me, Waystalker. Okay. One more component, range damage. Range damage is a multiplicative reduction, a multiplicative reduction that happens at the end. This reduction is a linear tapering off of damage between two ranges, okay? Light weapon attacks, it's more than linear. It's a little bit more, it's quadratic. Dodge range is two, so this is four. You're walking, your running uh, speed is four units per second as well, so it's two seconds worth of running. That's how far off shotguns start dropping off. It ends double that. Snipers, you have to go walk for, what is it, seven seconds to get to the minimum, the drop-off start. And they don't drop off as much, okay? So basically what you're going to see here is there's close-range weapons and far-range weapons. Who knew? Okay. The fall-off mechanic is weapons that are good, range weapons that are good versus armor, drop off linearly. Weapons that are bad versus armor have that linear drop off of all damage, but versus armor, they also have another linear drop on top of that goes all the way to zero. So shotguns outside of their effective range do absolutely nothing versus armor, whereas sniper type weapons still do considerable damage. Okay? Um, so if I were to draw the drop off just briefly, I think I can draw a sketch. The multiplier, oh, that's annoying. The multiplier looks something like this. Full damage, less damage, the minimum damage, right? So it's some near range damage, linearly drops off, far range damage, okay? Miscellaneous, dots don't scale with headshot, crit, or strength. Oh, excuse me, they do scale with crit, with strength though. That's just the way they work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this portion of the video. This will conclude talking about two components. We've talked about the effective hero power component and the attack damage component, including the damage drop off and boss redu reduction. I'm now going to talk about stagger system and buff system in the third and final video. If you have further questions, let me know. The fastest way to get an answer is to join the Discord, which is also linked below. All right.